call the public works meeting to order today. Um, we will uh, start with the roll call. Um, Alder Bourne? Here. Alder, Alder Perala? Here. Uh, Alder Salazar? Is she online? No, not online. Uh, Alder Savaglio? Present. Okay. All righty. All right, we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> okay, we'll start right out with uh, 2.1, approval of the May 25th <coughs> minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Uh, any other discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. <coughs> Minutes are approved. Okay, 3.1. Resolution number 2021-22, June 7th, 2021, document 4.5. Uh, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to approve changes order number two to the agreement with Wondra Construction Incorporated regarding Butson Sports Complex. And uh, Ryan, I guess you're up on that. There we okay. go. Um, this is the but uh, Butson Sports Complex on the south side of town on Salt Business Drive. Okay. I assume everyone's probably familiar with it. Back in, back in December of 2020, the city went into contract with Wondra Construction for the initial construction of just pretty much the soccer fields for a contract of $331,000. Okay. And, that, and that was constructed over the winter. Mm -hmm. And during the process of construction, we had to add several more sediment basins just for DNR requirements. And that was a change order, the change order number mm -hmm. one of 44,000. And with the state statute on a, on a municipal project, we can't go over 15% over the original contract amount. And what we would like to do since the contractor, one of construction is still on site, we like to finish the construction of, of, the, of the stormwater facilities because then we're then then we're done with phase one. In order to do this extra work to solve all the um, DNR stormwater requirements, we need a change order for twenty six thousand dollars. So if you take that twenty six thousand along with the forty four thousand, add it together, that'll put us over the fifteen percent um, <coughs> contract amount. In order to do that, to go over that fifteen percent amount, we need approval from the from the common council to do that. But it, it just makes it just if we, we have to bid out this little twenty six thousand dollar project, we're gonna have to pay for mobilization costs if another contractor gets it, and it's just it would just it would just cost the city money. So we're just better off since the contractor's still on site, just to have them finish up the all the all the DNR stormwater requirements, and that's a and that's a big deal on a construction job like this. <coughs> so that's that's why we're here asking for to go to go over that dollar amount. Basically, what you're saying is, is if you brought somebody else in, we'd be paying even. How much more? A mobilization be, cost. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. mobile cost bringing be, everything back in again. Yeah. We're going to cost. We're going. You know, we're, we're paying double almost on that part of it. Exactly. Exactly. So. Just to have, just to have a contractor okay. call, show up, it's going to cost thousands of dollars. So, okay. Alrighty. Any comments, questions on this? And it, it wouldn't have been cheaper, including uh, <clears throat> the um, the storm water work already from. At the, at, at the beginning? No, at the beginning, we just want to get the soccer fields in, bid those out, just to make sure we had enough money to complete that. We didn't want to have too much too much work in that in that first original bid. We wanted to make sure we just had enough monies in there to, to, to actually get the fields built. And, that, and the prices came in really well, so we decided to add this stuff on. That was, that was kind of our thought from the beginning. If the prices came in well, then we'd come back and ask to do this. Thank you. Jim, you had a question? So that capital improvements, or where did that where did that come from? There. <clears throat> yes, Alderborn. This this was in the capital improvements, and if you re recall, this was in in the program for several several years. And the original funding actually was came from tourism dollars that were within. The city's portion, if you recall, a certain amount, 70% of room tax goes to the hotel and, and visit Sheboygan in, the, in that group in terms of marketing and, and promoting the tourism. 30% then comes <clears> to the city. 
for debt repayment and economic development related to, to, to tourism. And if you recall, one of the proposals with the, the organization uh, running this is that with the tournaments they bring in, it would provide additional uh, opportunities for those sports groups to stay in the community and stay in the hotels. So that it was originally 590,000 is what was allocated in the budget. So in this first phase, we're still within that um, original allocation, um, even with this change order. And if I could add about the stormwater, why wasn't it included in the beginning? Um, there were actually two ponds going to be constructed as part of this project um, in, the, in, a, in additional future phases. With the redesign of this first phase, we're able to eliminate one of those and have only one pond, which moving forward should help us save, save on that uh, the future phases as well. So I hope that explains where the money is. Just, just to follow up, David, uh, where is the uh, soccer organization now as far as their fundraising and that type of thing? And what we're doing right now, is that going to be pretty much the city's involvement and the rest is going to be the soccer organization? Or just give us an update on that. Yeah, they, 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 we, they, we had a meeting about a month ago talking about this, this first phase, getting it established. Uh, actually, the next, uh, there'll be another, another um, project coming in at their next public works meeting. We just opened bids on the, what is called the parking lot development. Yeah. So it's gonna be the initial grading and graveling of the parking lot this year yet. Um, then yes, then once that gets done, the, the soccer group is meeting and they are developing a capital campaign, fundraising, refining their plans to go out and do a community campaign. And then from that point, they're gonna spearhead this. So this is like the initial kickstart, get things going is my understanding, collaboratively work. I think there'll still be some uh, partnership in terms of city organization, in terms of maybe there could be some in-kind. Uh, one, one of the things that was uh, brought up and probably be more explained at the next meeting, but I might as well just give you an advanced preview since we're on the subject this evening is um, potentially the city working with the county, the county purchasing, the, you know, getting the asphalt and having the city pave it where it's much more cost effective, similar to what we do on our city project. So um, that's forecasting, but for today, um, and with this, this change order, again, that expands the, the sedimentation pond as city engineer Sazma was explaining, uh, and that gets it prepared for already the development of the parking lot, which is really the, the impetus or the driver of the retention pond in the first place. Since we're gonna have more impervious area and drainage, it needs to go to the settlement pond. Will the uh, parking lot, uh, will that fall, uh, will that be included in the half a million dollars or do you think that's gonna be exceeded? It, right now, it's very close. Where okay. it's, it, if anything, given, if we didn't have the DNR requirements, it probably would have been maybe around $25,000 gap. But right now it could be 50 to 60,000. We're still refining the numbers. And, and again, there may be an opportunity to partner with the organization on this next phase with the parking lot. Okay, thank you. Any other comments or questions? Move to approve. Second. Motion's made and seconded for the approval. Uh, and, uh, any other discussion on this? All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay, 3.2, resolution 21-21-22, June 7th, 2021, document 4.6, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Batine Peterson Construction Incorporated for the Union Avenue Reconstruction, Georgia Avenue to South 26th Street. This is, a, I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, yeah, this is the <laughs> Union Avenue. It's pretty much, for the most part, located right in front of Horseman School. Mm -hmm. And really from Lake Michigan all the way to Taylor Drive, this, is a, this section hasn't been touched in, in decades. Yes. And it was originally scheduled to happen in, um, uh, in spring of 2022. 
uh, that's because Aurora was supposed to open up next year in October of 2022. So we would come in there, say, in April of 2022 and get it done before they have their grand opening. And if you remember to, at the Common Council meeting, Aurora and I mentioned they're going to open up in April of 2022. So the last thing we want to do is be in there next year doing road work while they're having their, their grand opening for Aurora. So we want to get in there this fall to finish this section. And it's, it's the last section of Union Avenue that isn't done. You'll have a complete sidewalk then all the way from Lake Michigan all the way to Taylor Drive. So this project just got just got expedited from from, la from next year to this year, just to make sense, to get, you know, just just to get it done. And this is going to include sidewalks, you correct? Yep, right? sidewalks okay, just on okay. the okay. north side. Okay, yeah, that's been a, uh, a, been a request from many constituents for quite a while. So, mm -hmm. and by having that connection, I think it's just going to accelerate the use of the of the of the bike trail on Taylor Drive. Oh, also. I, I think so too. That's been said. It's been 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 requested for quite a long time. A lot of right. people have said that that's it is a hazard to, to try to bike or anything along that section right now. It's it's basically a county road. It's not really even a regular city street. So, right. If you go way way back in the records, that's exactly what it was as a county road. Yeah. It, just, it just it just got forgotten about. But now now yeah. now it's got to be completed with yeah. with the Aurora project. So people are looking forward to. It. Any questions, discussion, Marcus? Yeah, uh, what got bumped so we could do this one? Uh, we, uh, we, were, we were going to do some resurfacing on Washington Avenue, but we're going to do that next year. Like resurfacing like from South Business Drive up towards Taylor, we're going to re remove some of that asphalt on there, like, like around by Sheboygan Chevy, that area. Mm -hmm. So we bumped that till, till next year, and we use some of the, the monies from that project. Thank you. Yeah. Any other group? Jim? Two, right when it's reconstructed because it's pretty uh, it's pretty narrow right now you're going to put in the sidewalks but is the road itself going to be wider than it is now yes yes and it's going to have curb and gutter very good yeah it's going to be wider very good okay any other questions discussion move to approve second motion made and seconded any other discussion all those in favor aye 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 any opposed that is approved <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 3.3, 21, or 22, June 7th, 2021, document 4.7, resolution authorizing the, resolution informing the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, WDNR, that the 2020 Compliance Maintenance Annual Report, CMAR, has been reviewed. <laughs> okay. <Hi>. Steve? <laughs> so every year we have to... Uh, Put a report into the state, which the, the CMAR basically what it does is it gives the state an idea of where the treatment plan is as far as capacity and how it's being maintained. So <clears throat> it goes through various stages, including sewers, all the processes, and we've received an A grade for all of the all of the subcategories. So I don't know if anybody has any questions on any anything questions in the for report. Steve? Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. Um, so you run the report, right? Or, or the DNR runs the report? Who, who well, gives, it, who it's, grades it's you? our data. I, I have to right. complete the report. A lot of it's pre-populated because we report data into the DNR every month. And then that results in the grading? They, they do the grading. They do the grading? Yeah, the grading is part of their report. So we input the data based off our data. So, for instance, um, say sanitary sewer backups. We tell them how many miles of sewer we have, how many backups there are. They calculate out how many backups per, per mile, and they give you a grade. And now you are filing the report back to them? Right. In order to file a report, it has to be approved by the Common Council. Okay. okay. Thank you. Any other Anything questions? else? Okay. I've been looking at this report for just a few moments here. I, this is where all the septic tanks go to your facility too, once they get pumped out and brought into well, your facility? Well, I mean, we do have waste haulers that come in, Marcus, yes. I always wondered where they went. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they, they just bought all the treatment plants except hauled in waste. Yeah. yeah, so do we. Okay. Yeah, and congratulations on the, on the grade A. Yes, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to see that one. Uh, um, we, I, I remember a couple of years ago we had that one issue with that. We had the one issue with the biosolids, yeah. Yes, and that, mm -hmm. so it's good, 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 good to see a clean report. We like that. <laughs>
What's the proper course of action here? I, do we, I think we, do we have to, do we need to, to approve this? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Motion okay. to approve. Second. Second. Okay. <laughs> Motion's been made and seconded. <laughs> Any other discussion on it? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, 3.4. General Ordinance Number 8-21-22, June 7th, 2021, Document 6.5, an ordinance placing a stop sign at the northwest corner of South 7th Street and Lakeshore Drive. Yeah, nice. this, yeah this is the intersection over by, over by real close to King Park, just to the uh, uh, south of it. This is where South 7th Street ties into Lakeshore Drive. It's a T intersection. Okay. So cars have to stop stop anyways because it's a T intersection but it is it is a busy street so to emphasize that South 7th Street has to stop we're going to put up a stop sign a lot of times at T intersections we just don't post a stop sign because it's a T intersection but okay. well I've had I've had requests from some of the neighbors and so it just okay. it just makes sense sure. that's why we're going to install a stop sign there did you realize that there wasn't a stop sign there, no the there isn't yeah. <laughs> that's because it's a T intersection you have okay. to stop anyways but yeah so okay. we'll have one there so wait, they're stopping on 7th or on Lakeshore they're going to be stop. They're stopping on Seventh Street. On Seventh. Because Seventh is the one that ties into the in, into the T intersection. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Any? I'm very glad about that. I have heard of that situation for years at the neighborhood association, exactly. Green Park neighborhood association, and people tend to speed on Seventh, quite a bit. So that that is going to be very good. And that's, and that's exactly where this request came from, it was from the Neighborhood Association. It makes sense. Okay. Any, um, we have a motion. I'll let, I'll, Move to approve. Okay. Second. Okay, motion's made and seconded. Any other discussion? All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that's approved. Okay, 3.5. Or General Ordinance 9-2122, June 7th, 2021, document 6.6, .6, an ordinance placing a stop sign at the northwest corner of South 14th Street and Broadway Avenue. Um, I know our, at our last public works meeting, we took South 14th Street from between Broadway and Georgia with the Georgia Avenue reconstruction. We're, we're going to put signals at the corner of Georgia and South Business Drive this fall. Mm -hmm. And in order for that to function correctly, we need to make that one section of South 14th Street between Broadway and Georgia a two-way street instead mm -hmm. of a one-way street. It's just, okay. just going to function a lot better. And because we're making a two-way street, now we need a stop sign on the other end. Well, that makes sense. In hindsight, <laughs> when I was here two weeks ago making that a two-way street, I should have added the stop sign then. But, okay. well, we caught it now, so okay. that's, that's what we need to add it. That makes sense. Mm. Any uh, questions on it? Uh, do we? Oh. Has, has this resulted in any cost overruns because of your oversight? <laughs> no, no, not at all. We put a stop sign up already. Actually, it's already up. But <laughs> Move to approve. Second. Okay. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Next meeting date, uh, June 29th, 2022. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.